Happy Friday, Lowry Leopards. It is Miss Roth, your math coach. And yes, best day ever. I've got my clapper back. I am here to announce this week's problem of the week winners. So let's take a look at our questions. Here is our primary problem of the week. While playing at the park, Mason saw spiders and ants. He observed that spiders have eight legs and ants have six legs. If Mason saw 26 legs in all, how many spiders and ants did he see? We've got Emily Romano, a kindergarten student out of Miss Itchner's class. And you can see she's got some X's over here representing all those legs. And then she has grouped them. So I can see a group of six legs here, a group of six legs here, a group of six legs here, which means there are three ants, and then there's a group of eight legs here, which would be one spider. So the correct solution is three ants with one spider. Nice job, Emily. Our intermediate problem of the week is Jameson has $12 in two bills and eight coins to spend at the book fair. He spends all his money on books. What bills and coins did he have? We actually have two winners this week. We have a second grader, Harshita, from Miss Altamar and Miss Burkett's class that solved this problem correctly. She's got a $10 bill and a $1 bill, which is $11. And then if she has two quarters, four dimes, and two nickels, that will equal another dollar. And that's where she's getting those $12 from with two bills and eight coins. So nice job, Harshitha. You're the only one who solved it that way. We also have Lila Cespedes from Miss Pasha's fourth grade class. Her two bills are two $5 bills, which equals $10. And then she's got eight quarters because four quarters here makes a dollar, four quarters here makes a dollar. So her $10 with the $5 bills plus the $2 from all the quarters equals $12. Nice job, Lila. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday with some more problem of the week questions. Take care, Lippers.